there's a new AI tool on the block and it's cracked the code for the most anticipated feature that no other AI tool can seem to crack. What's even better is it's totally free. I want to show you this tool with a full tutorial so that you can maximize your chances of creating really good results that you can then go and use within your own businesses. Oh, and at the end, I've got quite a cool surprise, so stick around for that. Up until this point, AI graphics and text didn't really go well together. Every tool was producing these mumble jumbled results that made absolutely no sense. We couldn't use them. They were silly and well, they, like I said, they made no sense. Well, that's now changed. Like I said, there is a new tool on the block that should hopefully up everyone's game when it comes to print on demand design and not just print on demand design. I mean, you can use this for advertising, for posters, for, for anything that you want. This tool is called ideogram. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically you are able to produce some incredible text results using this tool. Sometimes it does have a hiccup and it messes things up just a little bit, but the majority of the time it looks really cool. So let's go through it. This is the homepage of the tool. You've got recent, you've got trending, you've got following and you've got top. And this is just a collection of everyone's prompts and everyone's designs that they have made. You can see various aspect ratios. You've got vertical, a square and landscape so that when you do put a prompt in, you can decide what aspect ratio you want and go for it. So with print on demand, uh, uh, portrait aspect ratio is probably going to be the best one for you. However, sometimes a square works really well too. Another thing that you can do is you can click on anyone's results. So for example, this one, and you can actually see the exact prompt that they've used. So selfie of Noah from the Bible, gathering animals into the ark, a fisheye perspective, right? And we can see exactly what they've done. And this is really good because it allows us to learn and also kind of see what's working well and what can I also use the buzzwords, the the, the descriptive words, the, the way that they've sentenced their prompts, how have they done this? And we can copy that and learn from that and create our own incredible prompts. If on the other hand, you want to start from scratch, we can on the top here as well, where it says search. You can select from a bunch of different pre-made styles. You've got all of these and then you can click see all and you've got even more. And when you click them, they'll just highlight in black, right? And then when you put something in here, a design that says, in quotation marks, hello, how are you? We will select typography as well. If we click generate, it will probably generate something along the lines of all of that. Now that was a very simple design. We're gonna get into it in a bit more detail. Okay, I mean, these are done. And quite frankly, they are pretty cool. I mean, this is not where I wanted to go with this, but either way, that's pretty cool. Now I wanna just give you a quick tip that I thought was really interesting. What you can do is you can actually click on someone's prompt, right? And you can see exactly, or you can click on someone's image, sorry, I should say. And you can see the prompt that they've used. Right now, if we want to see exactly what they've done, we can also click remix and it will show us what they've added here. So illustration and vibrant, right? And then we can change any of this. So die cut sticker, typography, cool. Let's just say we're the best. Kawaii simple monkey in a jujitsu in meditation. So we've kind of changed the writing. Let's see what happens if we click generate, right? So we've, we've kind of generated the same thing, but we've also changed the writing and we've made it our own. And let's just see what happens. So you can see sometimes it does mess it up. For example, I don't know what the heck that says. Monkey GTS. Okay, then this one's kind of done it. We're the best. And that's quite cute. Uh, this one's also kind of done it. Missed out of the E. So nope, hasn't done it. Don't know what it's done there. Um, and then this one also, we are the best, <laughs> hasn't really done it, but this first one is pretty good. You know, I like that. So let's say we want to download this image. Now, of course, when you do go in here and you are putting something in the search, you can be really, really descriptive. You can be like, you don't have to be descriptive. You can just say something and say, make me a design that says the words, you know, whatever those words are, or you can say, make me a design that say these words and incorporate, you know, a fun curly font with bright pink colors and rainbows and you can be as descriptive as you want and create something really really cool to me this is actually truly epic and we can now create these designs in a matter of seconds and it has text it has the graphics it has cool colors it's all ready to go the only thing we actually need to do is download it vectorize it 
and manipulate it a bit. And let me show you how to do that now. Now, once you've downloaded it, which you can see I've done over here in the bottom left, you want to actually vectorize it. Vectorizing it allows you to expand the image and the quality will stay because at the moment it's very, very small. The quality simply isn't good enough. Now there are two options here. Well, I'm sure there's actually many options here, but there's two options that I'm gonna tell you. The first is vectorizer.ai and the second is my designs. Now I've been using my design specifically for this because I can bulk action a whole bunch of images and vectorize them all really quickly. But for this example, I wanna show you vectorizer.ai because it's completely free. Even though I don't think it's nearly as good, the quality output isn't as good, it should be It should be okay for this. So we wanna drag our image, that's our image, into here. It will upload, it will process, it will fetch, it will turn it into a vector, and we'll see what we can do with it. Right, once you've got it, this is the vector on the right-hand side, and this is the original on the left. Let's click download, and it's now going to download an SVG. Right, once you've downloaded this SVG file, you need to open it in something. You can open it in Illustrator, but what we're going to use is Figma. Now, Figma is completely free. I've been using Figma for absolutely ages now. I use it for everything from website design to t-shirt design to anything. It's brilliant. It's, it's honestly one of the best tools that I use. So what we need to do is once you've downloaded Figma, it's open Figma. You can see this big empty canvas space. We need to just drag our image in, our SVG file in. Once we've done that, let's do that quickly. Once we've dragged our SVG file in, you'll see it's over here. Now you can see this isn't just one image. This is all the different elements. So the monkey's eye all the way to the monkey's rosy cheeks and the different colors here and the hair. And you can see we can zoom in all the way and it's not getting pixelated, right? It's really, really high quality. So what we want to do here is potentially remove elements that don't look good, that don't work. We want to change colors. So let me show you, you can select an element. So I've selected this pink bit and I can just backspace that. Select this black bit and backspace that. All right, and I can kind of select all of this and get rid of this element entirely. And another thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the background. We don't want this background. So if we select the background, we should be able to backspace it. All right, and now we're working with a nice clear image. Now let's say I want to change the monkey's hair to, I don't know, bright red, because why not? He's a fiery monkey. And I want to change, you know, I don't know this plant over here. I just have to double click it. And on the right hand side, I can select it click fill and then change the color to pretty much whatever I want. And like I said, as well as that, you can delete little things So over here, select whatever that is. You see that? And let's just delete that over there. Yeah, cause we don't want this. Delete that, delete that. And it allows you to kind of clean up this image and make it look really, really cool. Now, if you really want, if you want to change where the best to your own font, we can pretty much get rid of all of these letters entirely and add our own text just by going to the text over here and we can put in we're the best. Now I can obviously manipulate this as much as I want. We can change it. We can do whatever we want with it. We can angle it. For now, we're going to just leave that. So once you're done with your design, let me just delete that as well. Once you're done with your design, you then want to create a frame. So click over here in the top left frame, right? And you want to create a frame size that's 5,400 by 4,500. And that's what works for uh, print on demand, specifically for Amazon. So let me just change the width and the height. And you can see it's pretty big. Now this was the original size of that image. You can see it's tiny, right? And this is why we had to vectorize it because by vectorizing it, it's allowed us to make it as big as we want without losing that quality. And that's the important thing here. You can see I've just stretched this over the entirety of this canvas and the quality is still there. So now what we want to do is we want to actually click frame. We want to export this, but we want to make sure that there's no fill. So we're going to get rid of the background. There's no background. We want to click export. Then you can go and do 4X. 4X means it's going to be the best possible quality ever for uploading. And then click export frame one. We can name it whatever we want to name it. It's going to be called monkey one. Click save and we're good to go. It should be on our desktop. Now with this, I can do whatever I want with it. I can upload it to a t-shirt. I can upload it to a hoodie, whatever. It doesn't matter. That is how you would use this tool, turn it into a vector, manipulate that vector, and then have a final image ready to go. Now we must discuss the commercial use of this tool. Can you actually use this tool for print on demand, for actually selling products? Now in their terms, they say only personal non-commercial use is allowed which 
leads us to believe that no, we can't use this for print on demand. However, when I dug a little bit deeper and I went into their Discord, which you can join and you can ask questions and you can see what's going on and what's new, there's a post on their Discord by the company that actually says, no, you can use this for your commercial product, which means we can actually use this for print on demand. So if you want to take the word of a Discord message from the company over their terms, everyone does their own thing, like each to their own, um, but then go for it, you know, you can actually use these designs in your own products. Now that was the tool, but hang on, I wanna share with you the surprise that I've got for you. I think it's really cool and I've been working on it for so long. I've finally started my weekly newsletter. And in that weekly newsletter, I'm going to be sharing tons of graphics, tons of design sayings, so you can actually just copy and paste and use these design sayings and they're gonna be themed every week. So every week, maybe it'll be like a cycling theme or a dog theme or whatever, and you'll get associated graphics and associated sayings so that you can actually create designs in that theme. As well as that, there'll also be really cool golden nuggets and news information and all these other elements to the email, but that will land in your inbox every single week if you sign up. This newsletter, by the way, is completely and utterly free, and you can sign up with the link down below if you want. Personally, I'm so excited to finally be doing this because it allows me to give you a whole bunch more assets and things and helpful elements to further your print-on-demand businesses. Once you click the link down below, you'll land on a page like this where you put your email in and I will send you the weekly newsletter. But as well as that, once you put your email in, I'll send you an extra bonus where you'll get tons and tons of different graphics that you can use for any of your commercial projects. So click that link down below, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think of the new newsletter. And of course, let me know what you think of this new AI tool. Is it a game changer?